Well, good morning, Three Pound Fishing Nation. It's gonna be a brisk winter morning, guys. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's getting colder and colder. I'm just never excited about it, but I'm getting my Wind Rider Hayward suit on. I like to use the bottom sometimes, just for days like this, where I know it's gonna eventually get really warm uh, with, the, with the sun coming up. And uh, sometimes I just put a sweatshirt, that's how warm these are, it's crazy. Um, Again, I'll remind you, especially because this episode is happening in the Christmas holiday season, you can get a discount on these uh, floating bibs, man. Pockets are freaking nice um, by using the code three pound fishing. I put the link below for uh, Windrider, by the way. So you guys click on that, that helps three pound fishing out. Um, anyway, they're beautiful. It is super calm, super calm. And the sun is just thinking about rising. There ain't a soul out there right now. We're about to go smoke them. A lot of gift ideas coming up your way. We're fishing for crappie. We're going to put a limit in the boat. We're going to put a limit on the killer dock cleaning station. That's where we're headed in this episode. We're going to do it in short order. Um, but when I talk about like Christmas ideas, you got to remember about the kids. You got to remember about the, the dads out there that are watching this video. Let's go fishing packs are freaking awesome. And if you haven't seen that review on that Rapala knife, I am thoroughly impressed. So you guys out there that are looking for, I, I'm, I mean, this guy right here, there's a link for that down there below as well. Um, I'm impressed by that. I'm not using the Bubba anymore. I'll, I'll let my guests use the Bubba. I'll use this guy that just slides through there like butter. Now, warranty, I got, you know, again, it's a long-term game for me always because I use them almost every day. So, um, you know, in about six months or so, I'll give you a, a feedback on how I feel about it still. If there's a problem, I'll definitely let you know, but I love how that thing slashes through fish, no doubt about it. Sickness is in the water now. We about to get it on. Let's do it. All right, here we go, guys. <clears throat> As that sun starts to come up, man, these fish are gonna become more and more active is what I've found. So I don't even sweat the morning as much anymore. There's our first customer of the day, guys. Good fish to start off with. Good solid eater size, man. You gotta love it. Look at that, guys. Look at that. This is that new uh, brown recluse that's on the website, hair jig. This thing's been on fire. I love it because I think it just has the natural colors, but that's a good starting fish right there. Now this is the pile I'm fishing right here, okay? So they weren't that crazy aggressive, but I'm gonna keep throwing at it, you know, and give it a, another opportunity. Another opportunity you might have with this type of pile is putting a float on your, on your, uh, line and actually making it go really slow across there and they might react to that even putting a minnow on it so i just don't fish with minnows in the fall and the winter bites too aggressive to have to worry about that but if you'd like to i think you uh, definitely get bites on something like that peasy man I was just cruising through and I found a little pile and dropped down on it bunch of fish here man you got a combination of schooling fish right here then you have this fish on the pile so I'm just kind of saving that for next but seeing if I can't get a vertical bite on these Good fish. This should be a good fish. This is a pig. Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. Brown recluse. There it is. That's a stud. Going back in for more. That was a good fish. Got him. Thanks. 
solid fish. Just staying away from them. Casting, 132nd ounce jig, three pound fishing. Sniping braid, the light stuff, the optimal. It's a casting braid, you gotta make sure you remember that. This is a cast, perfect for casting. Um, I put a split shot on there. And that, plain and simple, equals slabs. Look at this school, guys. That's crazy. <laughs> that is 100% crappie. Let's just see how big they are. They might be just, I'm sure they're probably just eaters, but that is a massive, oh man, lost my split shot. We're gonna go with it without a split shot. Stay away from my trolling motor. It's a good fish. Oh yeah, baby. Slabalicious right there. So yeah, I've been fishing a lot with hair jigs lately. Uh, in fact, I've been really messing around with the different colors. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Right here. Gosh dang it. Right here. Check this out. So I use one of these uh, Komatsu deals here. Really nice to organize your hair jigs. Very inexpensive too, but look at this. Crazy assortment of jigs. A lot of these uh, jigs are available on the website. If you guys are interested, you can try them in like ones. Great stocking stuffers. Great you know, easy, quick, I think they're $2 a piece. Um, but right now I'm fishing with the, uh, the Brown Recluse. This is brand new on the website. Thing's hot. we have been using a lot lately. We actually had a fantastic couple days on the schools with this guy here, the Chartreuse Bite. Um, I still like it a lot. So yeah, check those out. Um, but hair jigs in the fall just make it really efficient, easy, don't have to worry about plastics. Um, I'm not saying plastics don't work, they do, of course they work. But if you can get away with a hair jig, then you don't have to reposition your bait constantly on the hook, and that's a big deal. Efficiency on the lake is a big deal. That means more fish in the boat, quicker in the boat, um, et cetera. And not having to jack with, with minnows, not having to jack with plastics, um, really makes your day more efficient and um, more fish in the boat for sure all right guys we're going to try something different uh just out of curiosity we are going to go with a plastic here this is the uh, monkey milk that i have on my website um seeing if it plays a different the plain monkey milk shad style look at that glisten right there so same deal nothing's going to change we're just going to see how effective a plastic is right now just out of curiosity we're catching tons of them on the hair jig so but to have a little fun we gonna mix it up. There's the drop, first cast. We'll see if it makes a difference. All right, gonna go with the blue monkey now. See if it changes, anything changes whatsoever. <sighs> Say so far, I like the hair jig bite the best. I think it, I've caught several fish now with, with everything and it seems like they close the gap more often with the hair jig. It's probably due to size, but this is gonna bring a lot of action into it with the uh, paddle tail. So we're gonna see how that plays a factor. Second cast with the paddle tail. They seem to like the ax the uh, action.
Oh, big fish. This guy marked really well. Oof. What a day. What a morning. That was a quick, that was an hour. That was one hour exactly to get her done. There's the killer doc bucket going on the killer doc table. There's my, my limit. I'll line them up. We're gonna have a fun time using the Rapala right here. It's gonna be awesome. Great photo right there. All right, guys, here's a Rapala again. I'm getting way more efficient doing a couple guide trips with it. Man, this thing just slices through it like butter. Woo. Hey, beautiful right there. Just absolutely beautiful. This is just smooth operation here. Flip. All right, and so we're done. Cleaning the fish. Look at the bounty. The bounty is great. Check it out. All right, guys, what a day, man. Appreciate you guys watching. Check that out, man. That's a full bag. There's a limit. I can add some water to that, then put it in the freezer. And uh, that's the day. Hey, check out these leads for Christmas, too, by the way. Those are freaking hot right now. So, anyway, that's awesome. The bounty right there. That's why we go out for the fish fry this season. Ooh, you're. Sparkles a little bit. Splashes in there. But hey, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you. Take it easy.